Company partners, it's time to announce the winners of the Southern Arizona Watercolor Guild's 2020 Western Show. Being an old hand at riding, roping, and painting the Wild West, it naturally fell upon me to do the judging. For those wranglers out there that haven't seen my posters hanging in front of the sheriff's office, my name is Buck Barry. Oops, I mean Barry Sapp. I'm a past president of SOG too many years ago to remember. Actually, 1995 to 96. I am also a signature member of SOG and the Western Federation of Watercolor Society. My subject matter is pretty much all about the West. And I have garnered a few awards for my work along the way. Now it's my turn to help you tend your feet along the way to being full-fledged buckaroo painters. I just want to point out to everyone what I used to tell my, all my students when they entered any kind of a show. When it comes to awards, it's one person's opinion. Don't ever let anyone or anything discourage you from entering any shows. It's fun and exciting to see your work on the wall of the gallery, or in this case, the SOG website next to your peers. So let's get on with it. Honorable mention goes to Ella Del Giddings for Vaccaro, an 18 by 14 figure that shows her knowledge of fundamentals of facial structure and a nice clean handling of pigments. This is not the first time Ella Del has won an award for a figurative subject. Keep up the good work. What a merit goes to Marty Plevel for Indigenous, a 29 by 21 full sheet treatment showing the intricate combining of TP poles from the inside point of view. The somewhat abstract design is very strong and leads the eye to an area of interest with great diagonals and randomly measured negative spaces between the poles. It also shows off the strength in her use of shadows portray the roundness of those poles. All in all, an outside-the-box view of a rarely seen subject. An award of excellence goes to Sandy Walker for Territorial Tubac, a 22 by 24 rendering of Southern Arizona architecture. This is a great example of loose brushwork as well as wonderful color that makes this painting easy to look at. The brush seems to dance around the foliage and the trees with ease. The details are handled with a knowing grace that only comes from years of practice. Color choices are bright and cheerful without going overboard. Even the grays are very interesting to look at. Brush strokes are long and strong and no fiddling around or overworking. The design leads the eye to an open gate just asking you to come in and see what's behind the wall. Nicely conceived painting that is very well executed. Best of show goes to Mary Bubla for the Wild Range, a 20 by 20 painting that belies its squareness with a design that centers on a strong diagonal of light that moves through the painting. As the Old West was strong, so is this painting. It is not for the faint of heart. The predominantly primary color scheme demands attention and refuses to let you pass by without stopping to look. Delving into an almost abstract quality, horses, trees, brush, ground cover, and reflective light and water emerge from the seemingly triadic color scheme. The horse shapes are excellent to carry the load for an impressionistic version of an idyllic pastoral scene. And like the beautiful flowers that can be produced with this technique, this is a step into unknown territory for the Western genre but it works. Congratulations. 
last but not least, I'd like to thank our show chairs, Goldie Aguilar and Sue Emer, for letting me jury this show and essentially doing all the hard work for putting this show together. A job well done. And congratulations to everyone who entered the show. And I will tell you, it wasn't an easy job picking out the four award winners. Everyone did a bang up job, pardon the pun. I hope we can have another show with this theme in the future and we can put them all up in the Saad Gallery. Stay in, stay safe, keep painting.